Uh, okay. Um, so I didn't get to record me starting this. It asked for administrator per- permission. And then also opened a fucking command prompt. There's nothing in that command prompt. If I close it... Okay, it's closed. Also, the this... This game is a hu- is of a humorous nature and does not seek to offend anyone. All the characters and events in this game are fictitious, even if they're not. Uh, dude, if if you're making a comedy game and you know it's going to be offensive, maybe just don't write those jokes. Anyway, um, I have not checked this out yet. Um, I have not heard good things about it though. I I have heard that the writing is fucking atrocious. Hey, at least the subtitles are on. Um. I, I'm just very confused that it needed admin permission, which I have not seen on a video game in a long time, um, and also opened a command line. Uh, uh, I guess let's go with standard... And just try this out. I don't know. I like this looked until I saw some of the like I I watched. I can't remember who I watched. It was either Giant Bomb or Vine Sauce. I watched one of them play this and just went, "Oh, the writing is atrocious, and I'll never play this game." And it's on Game Pass technically, so that's why I'm playing it. I did not pay money for this. Hey, maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll buy it. It's like eighteen bucks. We're getting. Moved by robots, it looks like. Uh huh, it's searching for your. I already hate these jokes. Yeah, I already hate this. This is really stupid. Like, one, the entire prompt popping up, and two, the yay, censorship. It's not fucking censorship, you goddamn idiot. There's no government body who is fucking telling you that you can or can't do this. Yeah, I will I will censor your shit. Now it just looks like ass. Now it's clipping and glowing and smoking, so now it looks stupid. Remind him, R2-D3. Ha ha ha, R2-D3 instead of R2-D2. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Sure. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Sure. I wonder if the gameplay is good, because I'll play the fucking free mode, or the storyless mode, whatever it is. But... God, I wish there was a way to just turn off the writing. Thank you. 
You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Okay. It's like trying so hard to be witty and Greetings. It's I'm your just funerary very space much built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Oh, this is a great tutorial. Just put everything up on screen all at once. There's there's a happy middle ground between this and just overloading things, you know. Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. <laughs> to stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Okay. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them this, in your pockets, calling it an This controls game. like ass. I to stop yeah. the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Take out the chewing gum okay. from your pocket. Destiny, you ruined video games with this. Just Try let your funerary me... spacesuit sticky while holding a chewing gum in your hand. What? Where'd it go? Stick it somewhere except for your face. I'm to stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Yeah, no, I'm good. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Try not to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Stick it somewhere except for your face. Okay. We're back to you this. Some words I just need a moment. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. Okay, let's let's see. Let's see how much we can when you discover a new blueprint stomach of this. What a loud headline! But the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is sixty-five percent. Oh, I thought this was the radio. Where is the fucking thing to turn off the music? You know what the worst thing that Destiny did to video games? This. The need to hold and the 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 in the cursor this thing. This the, the 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 mouse cursor via oh god damn it uh via a fucking controller it, it's it's just the worst one this this already has a bunch of shit that i just cannot stand in video games and the writing is also bad. So... I I was actually looking forward to this game before it came out. Like, this came out the day before my birthday. 
and I was genuinely like, oh, hey, Breath Edge is out. I've seen, like, I saw the concept for it. I didn't see, like, a ton of stuff about the game early on. But I saw, like, you know, oh, it's a, like, space survival game. That's kind of... Uh, I was like, oh, that's kind of my jam. A space survival game? That, that, that seems cool. No. Also, wow, this captures like ass. Like it's capturing like it had. Wait, that's why. Because it changed. I. I okay. So between cuts, I did not exit the game. It was like maybe a couple minutes where I was just like, okay, you've already recorded a bit. Just finish the fucking video. The game never exited, but it turned on. Wait, did turning on V-Sync add tearing? How Okay. Okay. Boy, I really wish that the speed was not so ridiculous. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. That was a close call. Try to adjust. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Yay! This sucks. Um, okay, so I guess we have to go around the thing. I, I'm good without listening to that anymore. Oh, okay, it's out here. It looks like great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. This isn't witty or charming. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. Oh, thank fuck. I keep... Why would you have B, the universal back button? Well, almost universal back button. Also B, your toss button. I don't get it. Create a debugging station. How? Well, I can't do it. Apparently it wants me outside again, even though these space flight controls are awful. It's not, there's no up down on it. It's all, it's just much faster than the normal walk speed and forward. You just have to look in the direction you want to go instead of having, you know, up down the control like you would normally have. Cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frost work, which can lead to visibility deterioration. I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. Well, that sucks, I guess. Um. I have no, like... <laughs> Is there a thing that I need to... No, I can't use that. Or maybe I can. Maybe I have to... Stop. Okay. Oh, well, no. It went away. Okay. Oh, no. There it is. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Now... Oh! Oh! Every other fucking video game. Oh. I have oxygen in this spacesuit. You 
You know, you'd think they would give a spacesuit uh, less than 75 seconds of oxygen. Or more than, I should say. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. I can't seem to do anything. You know, there's, there's a nice middle ground where you don't have to... You don't just like I, I went to the thing in the in the processor, which looks to be where you build things. I'm not a hundred percent sure, apparently. Um I assumed that the the processor uh, that is lit up here, you know this is where I would go to Build a station. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. Unless it's somewhere in one of these other menus. That are not it. Is it under equipment? Nope. Why would that be there? Why wouldn't it be under the station? You have a thing for stations, but you put the station under tools. This game sucks. This feels like a cobbled together mess. It looks fine. I guess I need wire somehow. I guess I have to fucking find wire. But like these controls are not great. The the fucking like movement just feels off. Like your your sensitivity goes way up when you're in space which actually makes controlling this way worse than it should. The the extremely small timer for doing stuff outside of the ship is This isn't a pleasant experience in any way. I was really when I saw this originally, I was really hoping it was going to be a like almost kind of like ship breaker. The shuttle got caught in some larger debris. Lucky. Okay. Yeah, I know. I figured that out already before you told me. Give them fucking minute and 15 seconds for goddamn. Okay, so if I bind this to a slot. Installing just sets it down. That's what that means. Install, yes, that's what I'm definitely doing. I don't want to play this anymore. This is not good. This is not a good thing to play. I don't enjoy this at all. Um, it feels bad to touch. Like, it, it doesn't... The control scheme is... awful. Um, the writing is really bad so far. I... This isn't a good game. Don't buy this. Don't play this. You got Game Pass played, I guess. It's it's through there, through EA's thing. But outside of that, don't don't bother with this. This sucks. Anyway, yeah, that's that's Breath Edge. Like maybe it gets good after a long while, but boy, it's not right now. Anyway, have a nice night, everybody. I'll see you.